Hey, everybody, this is Bo. We're in Z Sports Lounge, man. Listen, we got a guy on last year a number of times, man, and right now he is on top of the world. He is Tim Booch. He just dominated his UFC match in style. How you doing, Tim? Doing real good. Doing great. Tim, um, how did this all come about real quickly in a nutshell with the UFC fight? Uh, well, you know, me being ready to take fights on short notice, there's, there's always going to be guys out there getting hurt training and whatnot, and, uh, People are going to need guys to step in that can put on a good show, and that's exactly what happened. Now, uh, David Heath's opponent got hurt, and my manager talked to the UFC and said he had the guy to, to fill in for him. You know, what's funny is when you watch that fight, and, t- and, and Joe Rogan, which I love picking on because he's such a tiny guy, um, and, he spe- and he's a very good fighter, wasn't on your side to start off with that fight, but as you just kept pushing the action and dominated – you know, the guy that Rogan thought could take you, Rogan fell in love with you. Rogan had to be, like, gleaming. It had to be great to walk out of that cage and have the entire arena just going crazy. Yeah, it was an awesome experience. Um, you know, I really didn't expect it to, to go that way. I, in my mind, I had, had kind of planned out to go in there and, and set up a takedown with some punches and then do some ground and pound because that's been an effective technique against him in the past. But, uh you know, fortunately for me, things, uh, you know, went uh, the route of the stand-up game. And, and you know, we, we put on a good show for the fans that night and, and definitely got a lot of people excited. I mean, what what was most impressive for you in that fight? I mean, you're always coming trained. Oh, by the way, congratulations. You, I'm assuming everything went well with your wife. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, everything's go- going great. Oh, wonderful. Okay. We, we, uh, there was a little note here. My Max sent me the email. Says, "Don't forget," because I'm real bad at forgetting personal stuff. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> now when you were getting ready for this fight and signing it, th- um, how have everything been since the win at UFC? Since the win at UFC, things have been crazy. I've been getting a, a billion phone calls and, and you know sponsors and whatnot. And you know, I had to hire an agent. I never never thought that was going to happen. I had to get somebody to take care of everything for me so I can just focus on my training and and take care of the important stuff, you know, get training in and, and just be focused for the fight. Now, what are they talking about for your next match? I've got Matt Hamill on April 2nd at the uh, Ultimate Fight Night card in Colorado. Dude, you got to be – dude, I am so happy for you, man. you got to be fired up, man. Your dream is coming true. You are on, you are at the best top plateau of UFC. Um, it's got to be a great feeling. Yeah, it's awesome. This is this is exactly where I've wanted to be, and now I'm here. You know, I just got to keep the ball rolling, keep winning, and uh, keep uh, putting on a good show for all the fans. And I, you know what? I can't s- sit there and not say enough love that the IFL really puts you on front and center stage when you almost took it to Vladimir because Vladdy has a great rep. Um, yeah. I always keep track of him, and a lot of guys are like, you know, Vladdy can go to UFC anytime he wants because they know he'll win. And mm. that match that you had with him had to be great stepping stone. Heck, yeah, that's uh, that's what got me in. You know, people see that fight and see that, uh, you know, I gave him all he wanted, and, you know, some people say that's the toughest fight he's had in the IFL. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. but It, uh, it is. It was. <laughs> You know, just uh, fighting an opponent like Vladdy, and, and you know that just says said to me, you know, that I can I can step up just about against anybody, you know. And uh, at that point, I wasn't even training full time, so now I've devoted myself to the sport, and uh, you know, God's blessed me in in many ways, and I'm able to, to put full time into MMA, and, and things are just going really good for me now. And and Tim, and what what what's your big goal now, man? Um, how many more fights do you have before you can actually go for a belt? How what do you have to do to set that up? Uh, I just got to keep winning and, and do it in a dominant fashion. Uh, I've got a three fight deal with the UFC. Uh, you know, if I can put a, put together a three fight win streak here, then we'll renegotiate a contract. And, and I don't know what the time frame is on title shots or what they have in mind for me, but ultimately that's where I want to be. You know, everybody wants to be at the top of the hill, so uh, that's where I'm headed. And real quick, man, um, you know, on this front right here, I got an email from a young lady who saw you, thinks you're hot. Do you have any modeling gigs coming up? Because that was one email message I got to ask you for sure. Uh, I'm doing some promotional type deals. I don't know if it's going to be necessarily modeling. I'm kind of... uh, I don't know if I'm cut out for that sort of thing, but uh, you'll, you'll probably be seeing a lot of my mug around. 
<laughs> well, listen, Tim, we want us to keep this short because we promised. We love you, man. Good luck. We're going to give you a phone call as you get closer to April. Would that be okay? Yeah, that's terrific. I love talking to you guys. Hey, Tim, thanks a lot, man. We wish you a lot of prayers. You're in our thoughts, man. Keep it going and keep that family going. I will, buddy. Thanks a bunch. Take care, buddy. All right. Talk to you later. Hey, guys, I'm telling you, man, that was Tim Booch. He's one of the good guys in mixed martial arts. There's a lot of good guys out there. Keep track of this guy. He brutalized his last opponent, and if he fights the way he can, he's going to dominate in April against Hamlin. Take care, buddy.